back in November of 2023, I made a video on this channel talking about how Osman Prime could be coming soon to Rise of Kingdoms. And this was in part because the official Rise of Kingdoms YouTube channel randomly dropped this Ottoman civilization cinematic seemingly out of nowhere at the same time that we started to hear some rumors from an in-person event about new Korean commanders coming down the pipeline with no exact timeline given. So I thought, okay, well, why else would they build hype around Osman, an epic commander in Rise of Kingdoms, if they didn't also plan on bringing him into the game as a prime commander? And then, of course, we entered into the holiday season, and out of nowhere, they announced Herman Prime in Ashurbanipal. And I'm going to be honest, I did not see Herman Prime coming. Out of all the different epic commanders that they could have released next, Herman Prime seemed pretty far down the list, and everyone pretty much stopped talking about the possible Osman Prime rumor. Until just a couple of days ago, it seemed to be the case that all of the skills for Osman Prime were just leaked. And this was actually covered over on Ihara's YouTube channel first. And when I saw these leaked images, I was thinking, wow, this is actually kind of surprising because this leak looks like it could be actually real and so today we're going to go over all of these skills and we're going to do something fun i've never done this on the channel before you and i are going to play a game you're going to go down to the comment section and you're going to comment right now if you think that this leak is real don't cheat don't read any of the other comments okay i've already put his active skill on the screen here so you've got a little bit of context okay and you could see it says i mean it's cut off here it says osman one and we'll see how many of you guys get this right because i actually know if this is real or not I will talk about that later in the video and while you're down there commenting consider dropping a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel and of course this video is not sponsored by anybody but before we get into this I just want to plug my second channel I've been posting a lot more on there over the last week I post videos about gaming news content creators things like that and I would really appreciate it if you guys could go over there and subscribe or at least check out a video if you think the content over there is bad that's fine but if it looks like something you might enjoy go ahead and subscribe over there because believe it or not I like talking about other things too not just mobile games okay with all that out of the way let's jump back into the game okay this is allegedly the active skill it says founder of empire target type aoe 1000 rage requirement deals smite damage to up to three targets in a fan-shaped area damage factor of 1850 every additional target reduces the damage to each target by 15 percent that's very standard troops hit by this skill lose 100 rage so this is actually a little bit of a low damage factor okay but I'd like to point out that according to the background here I don't know if you can tell it's kind of blurry he is a leadership versatility and attack tree commander so the damage factor might be low but it's possible that as a leadership commander he could be sort of like a vanilla secondary similar to Mehmed or similar to Honda Tadakatsu where his value comes from his versatility right like like where you could just kind of put him anywhere and he'll do well there and so the 1850 is a little low a lot of times for aoe these days we would expect 2000 or higher and also this has an aoe rage reduction okay it says troops hit by the skill not the target but any troop hit so you could potentially reduce three targets rage by 100. I think that that would be really interesting. I think a lot of commanders in the game that have a rage reduction built into their kit, it's typically an instant proc debuff. So for example, a 10% chance to lose hundred rage or to lose 80 rage per second for three seconds, something like that. So to have the ability of removing 300 rage from the field with a single AOE hit, that's pretty interesting. Let's move on to the second skill called the Ghazi troops led by this commander gain 40% increased attack. Okay. While outside of Alliance territory, their troops gain an extra 20% March speed and deal 10% more normal damage. So this kind of scales with the smite damage of the active skill. Okay. As you guys know, smite damage scales off of normal attack damage bonuses. 10% seems to be sort of the precedent set by commanders like the fourth skill on Liu Che. He also has a 10% normal damage bonus. So, okay, nice. 40% attack is not this stat that I would pick, but it is, I mean, it's universal attack. You could literally put this anywhere and you get a nice bump in damage. That's crazy. Plus 20% March speed outside of territory. That is also universal. Really, really nice stuff here. Let's move on to the next skill. It says uncharted ending. Whenever this commander's troop uses an active skill for the next three seconds, it won 
gains 30 percent increased health and two deals 10 percent more damage to enemy troops inflicted with normal debuff effects and this has a seven second cooldown so the way that this is worded suggests that this would apply to either the primary or the secondary of osman prime's army using their active skill so for example if osman prime was secondary then whoever the primary commander is whenever they launch their active skill then you would get 30 percent increased health for three seconds and you would deal 10% more damage to whatever that target is if they have a normal debuff and then Osman being the secondary would hit them with their active skill and of course this would not trigger again because of the second seven second cooldown now what is a normal debuff well we can come over to Theodora's expertise where she has a really powerful cleanse here and she can dispel normal debuffs which are defined as debuffs that reduce the target's attack defense health or healing received so basically your stats plus healing received that's pretty much it so for example if you were to pair Osman Prime with like let's say Scipio Prime as the primary commander then Scipio Prime would do his AoE active skill and inflict a 30 percent health reduction on the target and that 30 percent health reduction is considered a normal debuff and so then Osman Prime as the secondary commander would actually hit with his active skill during that three second window and deal 10 percent more damage which I think is pretty interesting so this is a really unique skill here that we see on Osman Prime moving on to the fourth skill we have harmful strikes and it says increases troop capacity by 10 percent and that makes sense because we see a troop capacity buff on epic Osman as well we see that on the fourth skill here and so this kind of is a reflection back to the epic version but also makes it even stronger and says basic attacks have a 10 percent chance to increase the damage of the next active skill by 10 percent 15 percent if their unit contains at least two different unit types and it stacks up to three times now what I thought was interesting here and I think this was mentioned by Ihara is that there is no cooldown listed here but at the same time you wouldn't really expect there to be right because you're not getting a damage bonus for a duration you're getting a damage bonus for the next active skill whether that occurs in two seconds or in eight seconds it doesn't matter so here we see potential synergy with Liu Che not only because he's a smite damage commander and would give a bonus to the smite damage on Liu Che but also typically things that have a 10 percent chance of occurring do well with Liu Che or Gorgo because they have the chance of dealing an extra basic attack which what we know from talents in the game is that a lot of times it can trigger other things that would normally occur so this would have an increased probability of triggering now also there's no cooldown here and the reason that there might not be a cooldown is because it stacks right and so if there was like a, a three second cooldown here well then the probability that you would reach three stacks by the time you hit your next active skill would be basically impossible right rather than having a cooldown as a limiting factor it would be just the total number of stacks is the limiting factor here okay so if you're lucky you could get up to 30 percent bonus damage on the next active skill or 45 percent bonus damage if you have at least two different unit types in the army and so if you actually paired Osman Prime with let's say Honda Tadakatsu or another leadership commander like Ethelfled for example you could get you know a pretty solid skill shot out of this and again if he's paired with Liu Che then you could possibly get this pretty consistently which I think is pretty crazy now let's move on to the expertise and it says reduces normal damage taken by five percent okay that's that's nothing crazy but then we see this commander's troop smite damage is also affected by bonuses to skill damage okay so that would imply that you could literally pair this commander with anybody in the game and let's say you pair him with YSG YSG has a 50 percent skill damage bonus which typically would not apply to commanders like Liu Che or Gorgo because they have smite damage but in this case for allegedly Osman Prime that would actually apply to the smite damage on Osman Prime which kind of makes up for the fact that the damage factor is lower because he can benefit from all sorts of different types of buffs he can benefit from the normal damage buffs and he can benefit from the skill damage buffs so you can really throw him behind any commander in the game and him being a leadership versatility attack commander would make him pretty unlikely to be the primary if I'm being honest with you guys so that last line of the expertise really throws a wrench into things and makes me feel like okay that's really interesting you actually this could be like one of the best just universal secondaries in the game like he has no restraints you can pair him with anybody sure his damage factor is a little lower but I mean you're getting a lot of value here a lot of stats yeah they're mostly offensive stats but you get March speed which you love you get some health over time now of course we saw like a timed health bonus on Leonidas which typically wasn't very great but I mean this is a it's a bonus here right so at the end of the day I feel like this entire kit 
is pretty solid right the only question is is it real and where did this even come from so this looks like based on this screenshot here that it came from somebody in kingdom 3080 or at least somebody who maybe made this up as a fake and then just threw 3080 in the corner as some sort of watermark to throw uh, people off their trail but if this is a fake this is a really good fake i mean they've basically perfectly replicated the font and also like the different transparencies of like the background you know with it's it literally says osmond prime and then it has different talents and guys we don't actually have any commanders in the game that are leadership versatility attack we have uh suleiman who is leadership conquering attack i mean this is it's just a if this is fake it's really convincing i mean i'm i'm pretty good with photoshop and i mean the amount of work it would take to make this in photoshop is pretty high especially because it is quite low resolution and so to kind of fake a low resolution is I mean it, it it's not easy okay it's it's not easy now because this seemed so real i reached out to a connection that i have at rise of kingdoms and i wanted to ask them what they thought about this right because i don't want to post leak content without their permission and when i saw this i was like this could be real this is the, like i don't want to get in trouble if i talk about this so i reached out over on discord and you're gonna have to forgive me this is kind of a trust me bro moment because i just don't want to reveal who i spoke to but i said hey whoever might be able to respond to this i've seen this osmond prime rumor image floating around social media for a few days and was wondering if you could confirm or deny its legitimacy if it's indeed fake am i allowed to make a video discussing that it's fake of course if it is a real leak i will refrain from discussing it until permission is given and then of course i attached the image here and honestly i didn't really know what to expect but they did respond just a couple of hours later drum roll please is this a real skill leak or is it a fake leak and we have the answer ladies and gentlemen hi omni thanks for checking before making any video about it we really appreciate the professionalism you're welcome that's my middle name is professionalism also the leak of the new hero was confirmed to be fake news dun 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 fake news everybody so i responded and i said no worries thanks for letting me know would it be acceptable to make a video discussing that it is indeed fake or should i avoid discussing it fully and they responded and gave me full permission to talk about it so as i've stated on the channel i'm not going to be discussing any leaks without permission from obviously people that work at rise of kingdoms or lilith or whoever so for those of you that guessed that this was fake as a result of that then you guys win a virtual cookie so congratulations this was was probably the most convincing fake that I have seen ever for rise of kingdoms so let me just say one of the reasons that I thought that it could be fake from the very beginning was because believe it or not Osman the commander as an epic commander is actually not in the official Chinese servers for rise of kingdoms you heard me right this commander does not exist as far as I'm aware in the Chinese version of rise of kingdoms. Now I think there's at least one other commander that, that, that is also the case for, and there's a lot of actual small differences between rise of kingdoms, the international servers, which we're all familiar with and the Chinese servers that are in, I think just mainland China, if I'm not mistaken, I don't want to speak too much on the official Chinese version of the game because I have never played it and I'm not that familiar with it, but I know that Ihara actually made a video recently where they kind of went over the differences between the international version and and the Chinese version I'll try to remember to link that in the description below as well but one of the things that surprised me was that Osman is just not in the game for them and I'm not exactly sure why I think it has something to do with maybe geopolitical reasons or some historical significance to something that happened in some somewhere in the past I I really don't know and I don't want to I don't want to like pretend and talk about it because I don't I don't want to offend anybody in case it actually is like a, a touchy subject I don't know but anyway the fact of the matter is that Osman as an epic man is not in the international Chinese version and so when this so-called leak came out I was like oh interesting like how would they even do that right because you know it's one thing to have an epic commander not in the game because epic commanders are not part of the meta and it doesn't really move the needle and even in pre kvk for example Osman is not like a meta commander from even an epic commander's perspective so it like you know Osman not being in the game is not a big deal it literally doesn't even matter but if they were to implement him into the game as a prime commander with this kit I mean this could potentially be a commander that you would actually want to use in the meta and so it would be weird for the international community to have an entire legendary that's decent that the chinese community just didn't get and so i thought okay well this 
probably is fake or at the very least in the Chinese version of the game they would have to change the name and the design of the commander but keep the skills the same and call them something else I don't know so I was skeptical that this was fake from the beginning but it looked so real that I just had to confirm and it turns out that this is indeed fake now the other thing is back in November when I made the video discussing that Osman Prime could be coming I actually didn't know at that time that he wasn't in the Chinese version of the game and so now that I have that information um I'm starting to think that we might never be getting Osman Prime guys I think uh it's possible I I, I mean of they have so many different epic commanders that they could work with that why would they make one that they can only put in one version of the game you know what i mean like they're probably going to do all the other commanders that they can do first and if they do osman prime they'll probably do him last and then they'll have to like redesign him for the chinese version of the game I i'm really not sure but one thing's for sure we want sun tzu prime boys we want sun tzu prime and if you made it all the way to this part of the video i want you guys to drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it'll help get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and i just want to remind you guys one last time of my second channel the link will be near the top of the description please consider taking a moment to just check the channel out and see if it's something you could be interested in i would really really appreciate it and comment down below what you think about this fake leak it is not real confirmed not real but it seemed pretty interesting right and i feel like it would be kind of an interesting leadership commander to put into the game so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below oh my god what if it's actually real and in order to convince people that it's not they told me to make this video so that way people won't suspect that he's coming and then bam down the line they're just gonna drop him out of nowhere and everyone's gonna be like oh my god wait that was the leak from the from the thing that omniarch said wasn't real and then i'm gonna look like an idiot because i said it was fake i'm just kidding guys that's that's not gonna happen unless no it's it's not gonna happen it's fake it's actually fake it's definitely fake anyway i'm rambling at this point thank you guys so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace